all to a comfortable seat. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to um, settle in. So we're going to begin today in a comfortable seated position. And if you'd like, you can have a blanket under the sit bones just to raise the pelvis up a little bit off the floor. If it feels more comfortable for you, you can also sit up on the knees. So your choice here. And we'll begin today in a seated meditation. If you're up on the blanket, you can bring the blanket just so the pelvic floor is tilted downward, knees are a little lower than the hips, rooting down through the tailbone, thinking about rising up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Let the shoulders fall away from the ears. If you're doing this practice in the morning, let yourself come inward into your body. Just allowing yourself to be wherever you are right now. Giving yourself permission to feel however you feel. This is the start to your day. You might not have a lot to let go. And if this is the middle or the end of the day for you, Allow anything that has happened so far today to fall away. Beginning to notice how you're feeling in this moment. Begin to notice the air moving in and out of the about extending tall through the crown of the head. Chin is slightly tucked. Almost like there's a little rubber ball in between the chin and the neck or the chest. And we'll place our hands today, um, one hand over the other, just like so, and thumbs touching. I have my right. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a little tired this morning. I have my right hand under my left. Thumbs are touching. Gently placing them in the lap. This hand placement just connecting the energy. Beginning to elongate your breath. tongue can broadly sit at the roof of the mouth. Opening the back of the throat, inhaling through the nose, keeping the throat open and the lips sealed. Invite the sound of the ocean into your body, exhaling, slightly constricting the back of the throat, exhaling out the nose with the lips sealed. Almost as if you're fogging a mirror. Audible breath that you can focus on throughout your practice today. Noticing where the breath is in the body as you breathe in and out.
pressing navel towards spine, getting rid of all the air. breath pattern through our practice today. And if at any point you find that your mind is wandering, you're not feeling truly centered, and it is the mind's job to wander, whenever you remember, just redirect it back, redirect your awareness back to the breath. at the top, stretching upward, squeezing the arms to the ears, straightening the elbows. Inhale deeply here. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that two more times on the breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands forward, stretching through the back, breathing into the space between the shoulder blades. Pressing the palms into the floor, and then tenting the hands, pressing just the fingertips into the floor. Palms raise up. Inhale, all the way back up. Inhale up once more. This time let's change the cross of the legs. Arms come up. And then exhale, fold it forward. Walk the fingertips out. First press the full palms into the floor. Breathing into the space between the shoulder blades. And then palms lift, fingertips pressed into the ground. You can walk it back. Beautiful. Let's grab the strap. You can use a belt or a towel here too if that's closer within reach. And you'll grab the strap so that it's bit wider than the shoulders. Not all the way wide, but you can always adjust. <laughs> You'll inhale, arms up overhead. Let's take the arms back a bit in space, keeping the spine in alignment and just moving the arms. Stretching through the shoulders, front of the body. muscles where the armpits are, those forgotten muscles. And then take the arms directly overhead, maybe slightly behind the head. Inhale here. Exhale forcefully and bend the elbows. Let it go. Inhale back up. Doing that again. 
again. Take that twice more on your breath. lift up. When you exhale, bring the right hand to left knee for a twist. Inhale back up to center. Over to the opposite side for a twist. Inhaling up, exhaling, twist. Inhaling up. Exhaling to twist. Beautiful. Inhaling, arms all the way up, stretching up. Let's clasp the right wrist, lifting it, bringing it over, side bending. Inhale back up, clasp the left wrist, lift it up, and bring it over to the right. Inhale back up to center, and just shake that out, roll out the shoulders, maybe stretch the crown of the head back, and then forward. come down into all fours. We won't be here for very long. You can remove your blanket if you've got one. Use that later. We'll just move into some simple leg stretches, getting into the backs of the legs. Take the left leg or left foot back, follow the foot into the ground, press the heel away from the body. Press the floor away with the hands, especially pressing through the thumb and the forefinger. This is creating some stability in the shoulder blades as you press the floor away. And then let's lift the left leg. Simple lifting here. Lifting from the inner thigh, continue to press the heel out and continue to draw the crown of the head forward making one long line with the body. You can draw the left heel out to the left, drawing a parallel line with the floor using your foot. Inhale back to center. Let's do that twice more on the breath. Exhale the foot out to the left, 
inhale out to center, drawing in through the core as you do this, exhale out, and then back to center. And then let's bring that knee down, right foot comes back this time, ball of the foot into the ground, press the heel away. Beautiful. Continue to press the floor away, creating stability in the shoulders. Inhale, right foot rises up, drawing up from the inner thigh, and again creating one long line. Taking care, maybe reaching back to feel if your hips are level. Your right hip should be in line with the left. And then you'll exhale, draw the right foot out to the right. Inhale it back to center. You'll do that twice more on the breath. Exhale the foot out. Inhale it to center. Exhale it out. Inhale to center. And then release the leg down. You can just sway the hips from side to side. Let all that go. And you're going to press, um, sorry, tuck the toes and then press the hips up and back. So first up and then push them back for a downward dog. Feel free to keep as deep of a bend in the knees here as you'd like. You can begin to pedal up. Thank you for calling TGW, the sweetest spot in golf. Our records show that the order you placed on June 8 was shift on June 12. Please press 1 to continue or press 2 to hang up. For new orders, please press 1. For existing orders, please press two. For Amazon or eBay inquiries, please press three. For a Spanish-speaking representative, please press four. Para español, por favor, pensil en cuatro. To hear the menu options again, please press stop. Are you still able to control the breath moving in and out? Thank you for calling TGW. Your call is important to us. We accept orders 24-7 at tgw.com. Our customer service team is working to serve you as soon as possible. To receive a call back at phone number 541-682-5610, please press 1. If you would like callbacks will be performed between the hours of 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thank you for requesting a callback. You may now hang up and wait for our through a chaturanga. So for chaturanga, you're going to lower down knees and then chest and then chin. So it's a little, it's a little awkward. You could start on the knees also, so that's an option as well. Lowering down knees and then the chest, squeeze the elbows in and then chin. You're like a little critter here, <laughs> and then you'll sweep the heart forward, untuck the toes. Press the soles oh, of the feet into the, I'm oh, sorry, Hello, the uh, tops Caroline, of the feet into the back. For turning your phone cold. Hi, Carolyn, thanks for calling back. You'll be able to stretch through the lower back. I, hope you I had some and feedback now, about an order I placed and the product draw I Draw the elbows together. All right. And could you verify your name? And, and then you'll press it back. Sure, first Child's name pose. is Steve, last name is Afaroth, A-U-F. E-R-O-T-H, billing address is 3378 Blazera Drive, Eugene, Oregon, 97405. All right, uh, so this Inhale would be for the Garmin approach? Yep. Coming to all fours, tuck the toes, press the hips up and back. Yeah, my feedback is Downward it doesn't seem dog. to read accurately. This time just come to stillness after a couple of feet pedals. See if you could press the hips so you want to do up a return. and back. Sending the heels. Yes, I don't have the box for anymore. All I have is the device. The ground. Relax the neck. All right, just one moment and I can do that for you. Inhale, roll forward. Coming to plank. Adjust the feet if needed. Continue to press the floor away with the hands. Press the heels back toward the wall behind you. Again, option to come down to the knees here. And then roll 
pull forward on the feet this time and begin to lower down knees, chest, and chin. Pause for a moment. And then begin to sweep the heart forward, release the tops of the feet to the mat. You may come, you may bring the heart a little bit more up this time into a cobra. Let's do a couple of stretches here. So exhale, we'll bring it all the way down to the floor. Adjust the hands so that they're under the shoulders. Squeeze the elbows toward each other. Press all the toes into the mat. Inhale, lift it up. About halfway. Exhale down. Let's do that twice more. Inhale, lift up any amount. Exhale down. Last time, inhale to lift. All right, and you have a good email that you would like that label sent to. Yeah, that would be beautiful. Yes, it is. This time, S tuck the toes and either come up to <coughs> tabletop. Eugene. Or lift all the way back e up to G e -E 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 plank. Hyphen O-R dot gov. Extend the crown of the head forward. On your next exhale, press it back to downward dog. Beautiful, beautiful chatter on the work today. And let's um, walk the feet all the way forward and hang in a forward fold just for a moment. Spread all the toes, lift them up, and then press them all down into the ground. Allow yourself to release the neck. Maybe clasp opposite elbows and sway. All right, back. that label was returned successfully to your email. Okay, let me just check for a second. Oh, there it is. All right, I got it. And it looks like the total estimated credit that you would receive for the item Inhale was $243. Okay. Shoulders away. Do you understand the process of returning right? Um, Exhale to I've returned products not to you guys, but to other people. So, slowly roll all is the label way up to attached standing. to this, or did I just print One this off? Of time. Oh, there it is. You would just, you would just print the label and, and then find the like a FedEx approved box or right. package. Right. Put the product in there and then take the label on the box. And you have to have your to print the label off and send it to your nearest FedEx for drop off. Okay, 72 hours, you said? Yes, I would recommend printing that off in the next 72, but by 72 hours. Yeah, 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 I've got a place to place just on my way home. I can drop it off there. Gently the weight into the left foot. All right, and did you have any other questions for me today? Not today, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much for shopping with Golf Way Health, and have a great day. All right, bye. And then complete the circle rock, rock it back. And let's do a circle in the opposite direction. Rock the weight toward the right. Rock the weight forward into both feet. Over to the left. And back toward the heels. And then see if you could equally distribute the weight between the feet. Close the eyes, relax the face. Beautiful work. Heel toe the feet out to about shoulder width. It's a little, well, maybe a little bit wider actually. Toes can point toward the corners of your mat and then sink down into a squat. You may have your heels lifted here, that's totally okay. You won't be here for too long, but let's see if you can come, bring the hands to heart center and press the elbows into the knee, into the inner thighs. And grow tall through the spine, extend up through the crown. Awesome. From here, you'll simply work your way all the way to your seat. Come all the way down to the back. Have your strap nearby. You can have some pillows and a blanket nearby too for Shavasana. Before Shavasana, I'd like you to take the strap, extend the left leg long, and 
and then wrap the strap around the sole of the right foot. And extend up through the leg. Let's look at a couple final hamstring stretches, adductor stretches, and a twist. Breathing into the place where you're feeling the stretch. Keeping that same breath that we started with. So bringing the tongue back to the roof of the mouth. It's not already there. Deep oceanic breath sounds as you exhale, constricting the back of the throat, like you're fogging a mirror out your nostrils. And you'll take the strap in the right hand, ground up through the left hip, open out through the right leg. And then take the strap in the opposite hand. Bring, begin to bring the foot over to the left for a twist. Feel free to scoot the hips. Gaze may come to the right or can be straight up ahead. to the left heel, press the left heel into the mat, noticing the grounded leg, noticing this L shape you're creating with your legs. And then begin to raise up through the left foot, take the place in the strap, release the right foot all the way down, we'll move to the second side. It's okay to have any amount of bend in the knee as you stretch the hamstring on the lifted leg. See if you can keep your hands low on the strap, keeping the elbows tucked in on your sides. Taking the strap in the left hand, opening the foot out to the left, stretching through the inner thigh, rising up through the foot, coming back to center, changing hands on the strap and moving into the twist. Grounding through both shoulder blades. Only turning the head as much as feels okay on your neck. And now back to center. This time, let's bring the awareness to the grounded foot, the right foot and the right leg, pressing down into the mat, noticing the L shape you're making with the legs. And then you can release the strap, slowly lower the foot all the way down. Shake it out, take any final stretch that you need right now. And then setting up for your Shavasana. If you've got pillows and a blanket, you can roll, you can do whatever you'd like, but I'm going to roll my blanket into a blanket roll for under the knees. And these really are just all suggestions, so doing what you know is right for you in this moment. And then I'm going to take a couple of pillows for under the spine.
say this, but to, if you have time and you want to take extra time here in your Shavasana, feel free to end your video here. Stop listening to me. <laughs> and stay here as long as you need. Taking care when you come out of the pose eventually. Otherwise, we'll just be here for a couple of minutes. Knees will be wide. Feel free to just take up space here. If you're not comfortable, feel free to adjust and make yourself comfortable. Palms can be open and up to receive, or down on the ground or the belly if you're feeling a little more closed. Take one final deep inhale in through the nose. Sip in a little bit more air. And then open the mouth and exhale it out. Feel free to do that again. Allow the body to fully relax. yourself to take in the benefits of your practice today. Release any hold that you have on the breath, fully softening through the body. In a deeper inhale. And then letting it go. Begin to bring some movement back into the body. As you begin to move the body, you can begin to think of a word or a phrase, something you'd like to take with you throughout the rest of today. Extend the arms up overhead, giving yourself a big stretch. closed or the gaze low, use the hands pushing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Sitting up tall when you arrive. 
hands come to heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice today. As always, take what you need from this and leave the rest. Hope you have a wonderful day.